Albuquerque has been accused of violating the state's anti-donation clause for buying turf for the Duke City Gladiators indoor football team. But they play in Rio Rancho. The city says it bought the turf for the community. Target 7's John Carnelli is here with why another team says it is not allowed to use it. The city of Albuquerque says the turf is not just for the Duke City Gladiators. Another team, the New Mexico Runners, also plays in the Rio Rancho Event Center using an old turf they say is hard to play on. They tell Target 7 when they asked to play on the new turf, they were told no. These reports from the city's inspector general and the state's finance department say the city of Albuquerque violated the state's anti-donation clause. It's all over this turf that was bought for the Duke City Gladiators. This is how the city has justified the purchase. We went into the arrangement with the belief that this was the right thing to do at the time so that the citizens not only of the city but of the metro area would benefit from this project right away. And this is the New Mexico Runners indoor soccer team. They also play in the Rio Rancho Event Center but on different turf. It's rough. <laughs> um, I mean we, we like to we kind of make a joke about it you know saying there's turf monsters guys be running and all of a sudden they just trip and you know the turf monster got them. The runners have played in the event center since 2019. Following COVID, the gladiators moved in using the same turf as the runners. They kind of did some damage to it. I mean, the paint, uh, they used uh, permanent paint that just really just tore up the integrity of the field. Andres Trujillo owns the runners. They never fixed uh, fixed that or rectified that or anything like that. So we kind of got stuck uh, playing on that same turf. But in 2022, the Gladiators got a new field thanks to the city of Albuquerque and more than $235,000 in funds from the state legislature. And for me, I was kind of like, OK, well, OK, that's nice, but is, is this something that you're doing for one specific organization? Are you guys looking to utilize um, this platform for multiple sports teams? The answer Trujillo got was no. And according to this contract obtained by Target 7, the Gladiators had sole use of the field and any other entities approved by the city. The runners never got approval. The city has also defended the turf purchase by saying it was going to be used for youth activities. Total 14 events that have either been held or are scheduled and uh, we expect to serve about 1400 youth total when we've completed all those events. But when the runners host youth camps and activities and of course we roll out our turf um, you know that we currently use and we roll that turf out and, and do our kids camps. The owner of the Gladiators, Gina Priestcorn Thomas, has donated $1,500 to Mayor Tim Keller's campaign and the mayor has been a longtime supporter actually playing in a game and participating in practices. Trujillo says he does not donate money to political campaigns. Nope. I keep sports and politics separate. Man. Politics does not belong to sports, man. The city's contract with the Gladiators was supposed to make the field available for 14 days for youth activities in 2022. We asked the city for a list of any youth events that were held. The majority of the events were for practices for a youth team that is managed by one of the Gladiator players. Target 7 will continue looking into the turf deal to see who exactly has been using it. For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli. The Gladiators told us they did not want to do an on-camera interview.